Okay, so it's finally time to start working on the rock sliders they got for the wife's power wagon. They're white knuckles. Had them for 18 months. Just haven't really got around to doing anything with them. Um, they're bare metal. I didn't have them put any top caps on them because I'm going to use expanded metal. Uh, I figured it'd be better for... Uh, Allowing like snow and ice and all that stuff to go through. That's one thing I found with other running boards. I never had sliders, but a solid top running board is that they always tend to puddle up with snow and ice and mud. It makes it slick. So I don't want people to be, or my kids mainly and my wife, to slip getting in and out of the truck. This allows snow and mud to go through and still give them traction without allowing their feet to go through the sliders as well. So first thing I'm going to be doing after I get everything pulled out is cutting some templates so that I can use the uh, plasma cutter to cut them out on this. And if you look at this, it seems like I've already got the start for a couple of the templates already just from the impressions left on the protective cardboard or that was shipped with. So that'll give me a start anyways. Okay, first thing I'm going to do get a good rough line drawn out right about there looks like I want to get too close that's where the black is rubbing so I'll take out a little bit extra yeah same thing baseline there Kind of sketch the rest in right about that. Same thing over here, take it out toward kind of wide, just draw straight out. So I can... Okay, so I kind of I cut some of the, the uh, excess off and Line them up a little bit here. You can see how it kind of traces down so right about there. And then, so I'll put the center right about there. Then I want a rough sketch right about like about that angle right there. And that should get me pretty close. Take my little Gerber knife here, it's a pullback. Okay, let's see how close I got. All right, it's overlap, which is exactly what I was going for. So, let me take a little bit off the edge here. Bring. Center, center, and out right. Start right there, and then. it out
Nope, right in there. In the corner. There. Just off. Hold excess here. Breathe in slowly. I just keep trimming at it till I get it down there to fit. Okay, and that's what I'm left with. I had to add a bit more back to the inks. I cut too much off on accident, but it fits in there decent. Not quite how I'd want it to fit, I don't think. But I'm going to cut the uh, expanded metal um, on the large side and then trim it in to fit tight. Okay, this next three sections are all about the same size, so I should only have to make one template. And then the last one is similar, but rounded. So I'll make um, one template and use that as a template to make the final one. Okay, so I cut out this piece of cardboard. It's roughly the same angle as what's on those um supports so I'm just gonna cut that out and hopefully I'm close to the right angle okay so the angle looks about right so I'm going to mark up here where the top that bar is and then mark right here where the middle of that well bead is then inversion of that should get me pretty close I'll measure this out and put the same over there then cut that out where is my tape measure Okay, so that was the right angle. I just took that same template, set it. That's the center of that weld bead. So I set it there, got my line, and then I'm gonna be cutting more into it. That's about where I want it to be. Right there is the top of the, uh, where the main runner is. So hit there. I'll Measure that, it's about that three, one, two, yeah, three, and right there. three. And what's that? Uh, 11 sixteenths. Same over here. Three and 11 sixteenths. Okay, so it's pretty close. Hmm. Just need to move 
little bit off that side. Go a little bit more. Okay, I think that works. It's good enough to get it to where I can trim the rest in. Okay, let's see, we're going to start making this turn. About. Good spot or good place to start. That was pretty much. Yeah, that's right there. Need to add a little more back to that side. Looks like. But all right, that's that. I would lay these out to draw my templates. I think I'm gonna try and get that corner right there as part of it. Fix my edges there. Yep. Try and get that as part. I need two of these. See how many get from here. Need six of these. 